Hey, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel all about hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Today, I want to talk to you about some new gear that I just got from a brand new company called Apex Giant. If you haven't heard of Apex Giant, you probably will very soon because it is the brainchild of Ben McMillan, the founder of Hilltop Packs. Now, if you haven't heard of Hilltop Packs, you probably haven't been watching my channel very long or many of my friends because so many of us in the backcountry love Ben's stuff. We love Hilltop Packs. It is basically the fabric line of gear that he has put out for backpackers, hikers, and campers. So, for example, this is one of my custom printed food bags. It has some special features that allow it to be hung from a tree so that it can function as a bear bag. And Ben has launched a new line of products. These are all made of metal. So the metal side of the backpacking gear company is called Apex Giant. Now, I just got this package of gear from Ben, and I'm going to give you a first look at it and also show you its use on the trail. The first thing that I have in here is the fire tower. Now, this is a very lightweight, thin metal device that allows you to set up a grill in a campfire. Now it snaps in to three different little hooks so that once it is put together, it is actually fairly solid. And this just sets down right inside your campfire and gives you a grill surface to cook on. So one way you can use this is to simply use the grill as a grill. You could literally just put some meat right on there. And you can also, of course, use a pan and you could use one of your lightweight pots. Now these things are probably also going to be coming out from Apex Giant one of these days, but as you can see, even a large, I think this is an 1100 milliliter pot, fits just fine on there. This is very stable. It's not gonna just fall over. Now, I live in California. I am here now in the Sierra Nevada mountains, and it is August, which means it is fire season which ironically means you can't have any fires because they tend to turn into huge wildfires and burn up half the state. So I can't demonstrate this in use outdoors right now, but it's pretty obvious how it will work and that it will work. Another thing that is nice is that because this is made of such thin metal, it's going to cool down very quickly. And when you're ready to go, it folds up fast, goes right back in its little stuff sack, and you're ready to go. Now, one accessory you can get with this is you can replace the grill top with a solid round disc. And what that does is allow you to fry things on this without having to have a frying pan. So although the disc weighs a little bit more than this with all the holes punched in it, it's a good option if you're gonna be frying things that aren't necessarily going to spill, like a fish or some kind of meat, because you don't have to carry any extra weight. The disc itself can function as your cooking surface. Moving on, let's see what other goodies are in the bag. Ah, yes. The Dirt Diggler. I voted for a different name, by the way. I was going for Little Deuce Scoop, but the company decided on the Dirt Diggler. Now, for those of you that are backpackers, you probably know what this is already. This is a lightweight digging trowel. It is a small shovel for digging what we call cat holes. Uh, that is for when you need to go poop in the wilderness. L&T principles say that you are to dig a hole at least six inches deep, do your business in it, and then cover it back up with dirt. So the trowel is not to dig poop. This is not a poop shovel. This is a dirt shovel. It shouldn't be any dirtier than the dirt that you walk around or like I am right now sitting in. Apex Giant has two different sizes. So this one is about six inches long. So if you want to dig an L&T proper hole, it needs to be as deep as this trowel. If you want a little bit more grip so that you can get down to six inches without putting your hand in there, you get the extra grip on this longer one. Twice as long as a man. Some men are longer than others. Now, what makes these special is that number one, they are extremely light. Um, however, unlike the really super thin metal shovels that are fairly popular now, 
These you can really get a good grip on. The edges are not sharp. It's not going to cut into your skin. And the way you hold them is that instead of holding a little tiny kind of flimsy handle, you actually get your whole grip on this thing and you can really dig into the dirt. But what I love about these is that right out of the box, they just feel so much more comfortable than your standard lightweight trowel. Another thing I like about these is the little nose on the front there helps you to really break through crusty ground and then you've got the wide section for digging the dirt out of the way and getting it back in when you're done. You can also get these custom printed. So you'll notice right there, Backcountry Pilgrim, my little BP logo. It also has a couple of holes. You could run a lanyard through this or a carabiner to keep it more secure. So that, my friends, is the Apex Giant Dirt Diggler. Now the last pieces of gear I have in here seemed rather silly to me when I first heard about them. Now, Apex Giant kind of did a soft launch with a lot of us backpackers, and so some of us were able to get our hands on some of this gear before the company officially launched. And interestingly enough, this was the best seller. I'm talking about this little teeny tiny piece of metal here called the dog bone. What is the dog bone? Well, essentially, this is a replacement for a stick. Now, if you're not familiar with the PCT style bear bag hang, you can watch this video right here, and I will also link to it live at the end of this video. But basically, the way a PCT hang works is that instead of just tying rope to a bag, throwing it over a tree limb, hoisting it up, and then trying to find somewhere to tie the rope to keep it from falling, you actually pull the rope through a carabiner attached to the bag, like this one, and then you run the bag up, you reach up, you tie a stick into your rope, let it go, and when the stick goes up and hits the carabiner, it stops, and so the system holds itself up. And it may seem a little silly to spend money on a piece of metal to replace a stick, but the more I thought about it and the more I tried it out, I realized this is actually a pretty cool idea. For one thing, hanging a heavy bag PCT style can be something of a challenge because once you get the bag hoisted up, you've got a lot of tension on the top part of your line. And then you've got to somehow get the stick onto the line and tie a knot that will work without coming undone and also without becoming so tight that you can't release it easily. So having a super lightweight item that takes all the guesswork out really makes a lot of sense to me. Now they have two different sizes because some people use larger carabiners for their bear bag. If you get the kind that Hilltop Pack sells, the smaller dog bone toggle will work just fine. And what's great about it is that when you're done, you can just clip it right onto your carabiner of your bag. So there's no chance of losing it. And just having that peace of mind, knowing that when I get to any kind of tree, whether it's been dropping sticks lately or not, that I'm gonna have a completely self-contained bear bag hang system that doesn't come with any weight penalty is very nice for my psychology of hiking on the trail. I guarantee that the energy I use to carry one of these little dog bones around with me is far less than the energy it takes to look around, try to find a stick, tie that knot with all that tension on the line, struggle with getting the knot undone if it over tightens in the night while it's hanging there. All of that energy is basically useless waste Having the dog bone eliminates it and makes it very simple for a PCT style bear hang. Now you might be wondering, how does this work? What do you actually do with one of these? Do you tie the knot onto here? No, you do not. All right, so let's say I've got this cord running up to a tree and it's time to tie the toggle in. Instead of trying to overcome the tension, pull down, get this into some kind of knot, all I do is I just get a little bite of rope. I pass it through the circle and around the dog bone, bam, done. That is all it takes. Conversely, when I am done, I can pull this down. All I need is a little bit of slack on one end. I go over the dog bone, comes right off. Couldn't hardly be more simple than that. Apex Giant, made in the USA. The people that make these are right here in America. The money that you spend on this equipment is going to Americans instead of going overseas to some Chinese factory where you're supporting the commies. All right, so that is the new gear from the new company, Apex Giant. I will put a link to them in the description of this video. I hope you will check them out. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe give it a like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Check out these other videos if you want to learn more about Hilltop Packs. Till next time, I'm Doug. Thank you for watching.